Hello all, welcome to Autobot YouTube channel. Today we are going to create a very simple powerful code which can help you to request through multiple uh, subfolders to identify the patterns. So uh, uh, we are going to use Visual Studio as an IDE for creating the uh, powerful uh, script. Uh, in the first video in this playlist, I have shown you how to create this PowerShell project in the Visual Studio. If you haven't uh, seen that video, just go through that and understand what is that first video and how we have uh, integrated uh, Python and PowerShell to create a wonderful uh, uh, HTML report. So today we are going to create a simple uh, PowerShell script uh, with very minimal lines uh, which can loop through multiple uh, subfolders to identify the patterns which we are going to input. Okay, so before going to that, let me reintroduce uh, the PowerShell. So what is Windows PowerShell? So it is a command line shell and scripting language designed especially for system administration. Okay, so uh, it has uh, a very rich expression parser and a fully developed scripting language. So uh, it is a fully developed scripting language which is helping a lot for doing many of the automations which is related to any of the configuration or if you want to do this kind of a pattern related uh, automations all these things you can easily done with the PowerShell because PowerShell is a very powerful tool same like a, how a batch uh, script is working in uh, the Linux environment okay so let's see how to create uh, this uh, symbol uh, project or the sim uh, symbol uh, script okay for that what I have done is I uh, created a folder okay so this PowerShell request demo and inside that I have created uh, two files test file 1 and test file 2 so uh, in this first file I added auto space board then YouTube auto board automation like that one pattern and uh, in this uh, second one I removed the auto space board from the second list okay like that I have created uh, multiple uh, folders of folders and inside that I have added a uh, uh, different files okay which is having uh, the similar uh, kind of data like auto board auto board and automation auto board so we are going to search for this particular pattern inside uh, all these files uh, in the parent folder okay so it will go through all the sub files uh, inside this parent folder and each file it will loop and it will try to identify the pattern and it will give you the output like uh, um, in which all files in which line number you can find that uh, pattern okay so this is very much helpful like if you are doing some uh, development and uh, all by uh, all of a sudden like if you want to uh, replace some name of your function okay or if you want to replace the name of uh, some variable or any package what you can do you can uh, use this PowerShell code to run through the entire project and to understand in which of lines you have this uh, particular uh, uh, pattern uh, in uh, in uh, the folder okay so it will help to understand if you have a list of uh, package like 10 uh, package name that you want to replace means uh, you can uh, list out the list of uh, uh, file names and uh, a list of uh, new function names and uh, you can loop through all these folders and you, you will get the output like in which all files you have the uh, a function name okay so once you uh, come to know the function name you can replace it manually or using the same powershell code by uh, doing some modification you can do that so let me show you how you can do that so uh, before that let me uh, do one thing okay we will start the scripting here so the first step is uh, what we have to do first we have to move to this particular parent folder right in this particular parent folder we are going to uh, recurse right so I'm going to take this parent folder path I'm going to use dir directory then just give the uh, path file path as we have a space over there I'm going to put it inside our double quotes okay then what you have to do you have to use the command hyphen recurse okay then what you have to do hyphen file okay oh, sorry i forgot to add that space over there so hyphen recurse is nothing but it will uh, loop through each subfolder okay and each subfolder and each file it has to loop okay then what it has to find it has to search for this 
particular string so what is string you have to use hyphen string and you need to search for the pattern right so what is the pattern hyphen pattern and you need to provide the pattern like uh, currently i'm going to hard code the value because i'm only searching for this auto boat okay then you need to uh, write the second set of comments like select what are the things that you want to get output okay output it. so i'm going to get the uh, file control space okay file name then path let me put control space then uh, line number okay line line number then okay path okay let me get the line number also then line also then we have to add all these things to uh one uh file okay so for that just put add hyphen content so where i want to put all these uh, details so for that i'm going to um, use this uh, same parent path okay i'm going to use till uh this uh, path okay and we need to create a csv file or you can use a uh, text file to output the content so what should be uh, the output powershell out dot uh, csv let me create a csv file okay so that's it so here we are uh, changing the directory to the parent path then hyphen recurse hyphen file then as a second statement what you have to do you have to get the select a hyphen string and you need to search for this particular pattern okay so i'm searching for the board and uh, once it is done what is the output that you want to get then you have to get select file name path all these things it will fetch and if you want to output that to a file then you have to uh, add the next statement like add hyphen content and the path of the uh, file okay where the output will get generated. Let me run this file. Okay, build succeeded. Okay, so our execution is completed. Uh, let me go to our folder. Okay, so inside our auto uh, machine demo, you can see a new CSV file got generated. Okay, so let me open that. Okay, so here you will get the output like. Okay, uh, so what is the file name? okay what is the file name the path of that particular file so uh, here you can see it has recurrence through all the subfolders and it identify the files okay and it has printed what is the line number and what is the line okay so it has identified all the uh, lines inside the different files which is residing in different subfolders okay so it took around only one or two seconds to request to these many files so if you have around one lakh files uh, uh, based on your uh, project uh, uh, complexity okay and if you want to uh, find it manually it will be a very tedious work so if you can uh, create a powerful code like this it will help you to request through multiple uh, sub files and it will uh, give you the output so it, this is not only restricted to a text file you can get this output or you can do this pattern based uh, uh, test checking in different kind of files okay so even if it is csv or if it is any file format or if it is txt or if it is a java file or python it can loop through all these files and search for this pattern that is a uh, benefit of a portion okay so currently what we have done we have a hard coded one uh, pattern that is autobot and it uh, uh, search in uh, this particular folder path right suppose if there is a uh, project path and if we want to search for multiple uh, pattern 
okay like a uh, pattern one pattern two like uh, some 10 or 100 patterns if you want to search uh, in uh, these files what you have to do you can do it like a loop right for that what i'm going to do is let me create a, a text file over here new as a document i'm going to name it like uh, input okay so let me add auto boot uh youtube okay i'm going to search for this uh, two pattern okay let me copy this path let me add a uh, four condition for each okay for each what we have to do for each line right for each line in system dot dot io dot file okay then add to columns okay then what we have to do we have to read lines from input data txt okay then did we miss something okay we need to close the bracket correct for each line in uh, this particular one we have to search right so this one also we need to replace with the dollar line correct and if you want to just uh, print out uh, that what you can do is you have to put it inside a bracket right then only it will work like a loop so here if you want to print the line just put like a dollar that variable that's it Okay, so our uh, scripting part is completed. So let me click on the uh, start. And before that, uh, let me delete the existing uh, file. Okay. Mm, let me delete the file. Okay. Let me uh, run on the start. Click on the start. Okay, so our execution got completed. Let me go to a folder. Okay, so here you can see a new file got generated. Let me open that. So here uh, you can see uh, the script has searched for both this uh, pattern like autobot as well as youtube uh, which we have uh, mentioned in the uh, text file right so it, it has a search for all this file and it provided the path as well as the file name and the line number also like where it has repeated and the line uh, where it identify the pattern okay so this is a very simple script but it is very much powerful uh, which can save a lot of time uh, if you are going uh, to do this kind of procedure in a very big project okay so if you need to replace some function name or if you, there is any requirement for replacing some variable name uh, as part of some standardization you can use these kind of uh, uh, scripts to identify this pattern in your uh, project okay and uh, you can uh, easily enhance this uh, script to replace the uh, functions or the old functions with the new function by uh, providing that function name also in the uh, text file okay so that is even possible if needed uh, uh, any uh, video on that i can provide you in another uh, video uh, to showcase how we can replace the pattern with a new pattern okay so that's it for uh, uh, today so hope this uh, video is useful for you please like the video share this video to your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel so thanks for watching the video bye